Folks, now that we have our smooth race line, we're going to start building the course and putting cones in here. Uh, we want to select our select tool, not our shape tool, and we want to go to the design layer. Okay, there's a couple things I want to check before we go any further, and that is if we're, we're doing anything against any design rules. This is kind of close. Okay, we've got fixed objects here, but, but we're pushing away from that, so that's probably okay. Here, I'm going to have to make sure I put cones in here to make this kink very obvious so they shed speed so they don't go off in here because they're, if you go off here, you're, you're liable, liable going to hit the uh, barriers that are down there. So what I want to do is measure this distance. Okay, it looks like it's, it's going to be greater than 80 feet. So that probably is okay and that is based on uh, these design guidelines 75 feet is the minimum and we're more than that and there's one more reason why that's probably not going to be a problem and that is I'm going to get rid of this now that we know what that is we don't need that in there uh, this site oh, Being a starter here, I know that this, uh, we've done this type of design many times before, and this is probably about 20 seconds from here start-wise, and this is probably about 25. So if we do 25 or 25 second overlap, there will never be cars in this area if the starter's paying attention like he should be. So the other thing is this course is gonna be run forwards and backwards. So our start's gonna be over here day two, so there is better opportunity that two cars would be in this area. However, it's still within probably six seconds. And a red flag would probably be appropriate because some, some of the timing equipment doesn't, uh, doesn't recognize trips uh, in intervals under 10 seconds. So we should be fine on that. And I don't really want to change that because I kind of want my design to have that in there. So with that said, we're on the design and the select tool here. We're going to go over and, or we're going to go in here and start putting cones in our apex. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one at the 45 degree angle. I'll paste it to maintain my. Uh, probably zoomed in a little too much. This is right by our start, and I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to zoom out just a hair. And then I'm going to use this one to our next apex. Okay, and I'm going to put that one in here. Real close. We'll adjust these later. Okay, so now we have two cones in here to start putting in our apexes and I'm going to go to the faster mode and put the rest of them in here right now. Okay folks, I'm back. I forgot to show you a couple steps that makes this a lot easier. Um, anyway, I want to I'm going to lock these the concrete, the divisions and the the race line layers so when I work out here it's not it won't grab everything that I'm you know, move everything that I don't want to move. Okay, so I'm going to grab this uh, array of cones. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to put these all around the uh, course so I can... Um, okay, and then so I can uh, select each one. I'll need to separate them. So right now, if you go to copy it, it makes a group out of them. Now I've made these all separate. So I'm going to come in here and copy this again, and I'll have to do that same thing, but at least I'll have cones close to where I'm going to be using them.
I said, honey, why don't you ask me when we hit the outskirts of town? Now we have all our apex cones justified to the actual race line. Uh, there's some areas here and here that I'm probably going to work some more once the, the rest of the course becomes, you know, obvious of what, what it's going to look like. You know, you kind of work this down and as you get closer and closer in there you see stuff that you want to probably modify a little bit. I think right now uh, this is a horsepower course because I have a lot of straightaways in here So I'm probably gonna tighten up some of these areas here to you know give some of that back to the uh, smaller uh, momentum cars <clears throat> Okay, I took all those cones off because I don't think I'll need the pointers anymore now I'm gonna come over here and put our visuals in so it'll be obvious uh, where the race line is and we have to we have to make sure that uh, you know when somebody comes around this corner they don't see this and get confused so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of cones and again this is all I'll probably have more cones out here during this exercise than I'll actually put in the course so I'll probably come back and take some out but basically what I'm doing with this line of cones again I'm not sure if there's going to be this many I'm going to put pointers on this side of the cone in the shadow from people coming this way so they don't see the pointers. And then also, sh shadowed from these folks, I'm going to put pointers here pointing down for these guys to know the track goes that way. Okay, so this is going to take a while. Uh, this is probably the biggest, the biggest part. So I'm going to do this in the high speed, and I'll probably take a few breaks in between so you'll see me go back to... Uh, this green and that's what I'm doing. All right.
Okay, we're back. We have uh, we have all our visuals in there. However, there's too many right now, but I like to go back and put too many in and then just then delete them back out, make it more simple. Okay, this video is long enough, so we'll start another one and finish this map later. See you.